Japan, the strange country. Japan is a small country located in East Asia. The population is around 130 million people. The total world population is 6.8 billion, which means that roughly two in every 100 people are Japanese. Japan's land area measures 378,000 square kilometers. If the Earth's land area is 149 million square kilometers and the total area is 510 million, then Japan is no bigger than this red dot. Japan is the most advanced country in Asia. It is second only to America in GDP and is proud of its high standard of living and economic wealth. Life expectancy for Japanese men is 79 years and 86 years for women, which is the longest in the world. Then there are cultural practices such as kabuki, bonsai, sumo, sado, kimono, and origami, all of which have developed into distinctly Japanese traditions. And we mustn't forget, Japan was the first country in the world to experience the destructive power of not one, but two atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in World War II. More than 220,000 people lost their lives, and as a result, Japan abandoned its wartime constitution. In these ways, Japan is a country with its own original culture and history. But nowadays, there are also many strange things about modern day Japan. Let's take a look at these strange things in eight different categories. One, character. Japanese people tend to be short, have black hair, small mouths, and small eyes. This is a typical Japanese salary man. And over here is a Japanese schoolgirl. These days, Japanese girls have a variety of ways to make their eyes appear bigger. There's even a function to make your eyes look bigger when you have a photo taken. Japanese technology sure is amazing. Another obsession Japanese girls have is with brands. But more than anything else, they're obsessed with diets. Japanese women walk about town carrying their high-quality brand bags, but for them, it's the ultimate status symbol. Japanese people also have the worst eyesight of anyone in the world, with 40% of all people using glasses or contact lenses. Japanese people are generally pretty shy. You could say that they find it particularly difficult to express how they really feel. Thanks to this, Japanese company meetings tend to drag on. And even after work is over, a Japanese person can't refuse an invitation for drinks. They also need to be careful of workplace relationships between their boss and co-workers. Don't forget to bow on your way home. Again, and again, and again. So, uh, when do I get my vacation? 2. Tokyo Tokyo, Japan's capital city, makes up an extremely small area, but it's the heart of Japanese politics, economy, distribution, and fashion, a true megalopolis. Tokyo is the mecca, the place everyone wants to live, and so in recent years it's become overpopulated to the extreme. An example, compared to an American who can claim a living space of 180 square meters to himself, there are 11 Japanese people crammed into the same space, but in Tokyo alone, there are 192 people squished into the same extremely cramped living conditions. At the famous Shibuya Scramble Crossing, for every green light during peak hours, around 3,000 people will cross at the same time. At a Tokyo McDonald's, it's perfectly normal to have just 50 centimeters of bench space per customer. Kinda like being a chicken in a coop, isn't it? Three. Food. From traditional Japanese style food to Chinese, Italian, French, and American style junk food, Japan is a nation of food lovers. However, the amount of food actually produced in Japan is only around 40%. It's incredible to think that a nation so obsessed with food lets 23.2 million tons of it go to waste every single year. That's actually more than four times the 5.9 million tons of food that gets sent yearly by aid programs to assist starving nations. Right now, there are one billion people in the world suffering from starvation. 
That's equal to one in every seven people, and someone in the world dies from starvation every four seconds. Of those who die, more than half are children under five. But despite that, Japanese people will eat as much as they like and simply throw away the rest. So, Japanese cuisine really is a big deal. Four. Technology. Japan is a technologically advanced nation with bullet trains that reach speeds of 300 kilometers an hour and mobile phones that can act as a credit card and television all in one. Robots that walk like humans? Naturally. There are even restaurants that employ robots to make your ramen for you. The toilets in Japan, now they're technological marvels. The seat warms your bottom. The lid automatically opens and shuts. And if you like, your toilet will even wash your... um... hmm. But for some reason, old-style Japanese squat toilets still remain popular. Can't imagine why. Five. Water. In Japan, if you turn on a tap, the water that comes out of it is perfectly safe to drink as is. Being an island country, Japan has water in abundance. But despite this, Japan imports huge amounts of mineral water from Europe. Like about 580,000 kiloliters every year. That amount equates to more than 1.16 billion 500 milliliter pet bottles. By the way, more than 1.1 billion people in the world, or about eight times the population of Japan, don't have access to clean drinking water. A large portion of those who have to drink dirty water suffer from diarrhea and other diseases. Six. Sushi. When you think Japan, you think sushi. There's the traditional style counter sushi restaurant, but now sushi train restaurants are also popular. You can choose from shrimp, salmon roe, egg, and any number of types of sushi. Recently, you can even order pudding or Korean barbecue. We don't really know why. By the way, the king of sushi in Japan is tuna, with almost two million tons of it fished worldwide every year. Japanese people eat 710,000 tons. That's a third of the world's total. While Japan consumes 80% of the world's supply of bluefin tuna, in the past 30 years, the total population of tuna has decreased by a third. Because of that, the bluefin tuna could soon be designated a threatened species, just like the giant panda, blue whale, tiger, and African elephant. Now, for the amount of disposable wooden chopsticks that you use to eat that sushi with. Japanese people use 23 billion pairs of chopsticks per year, and every person will throw out 200 pairs each. And these days, 90% of those chopsticks are sourced from China. Did you have any idea that Japan was using Chinese natural forest resources to make its disposable wooden chopsticks? 8. Suicide for a country with such a strong economy and the luxury of throwing away unwanted food, you'd think Japan would be a happier country, but it also boasts one of the highest rates of suicide in any developed nation. Even Mount Fuji, a revered symbol of Japan, is a notorious suicide spot with around 100 bodies discovered in the surrounding wilderness every year. It's seldom reported, but every year around 35,000 people in total kill themselves in Japan. That's 90 people every day. Every 16 minutes in Japan, one person takes their own life. I guess a healthy economy does not necessarily make a happy country, does it? So, this is Japan. When you look at it from a global perspective, do you see what I mean when I say Japan is a strange country? Does Japan seem a bit different from what you first imagined? After all, Japan projects an image of wealth and prosperity. There's probably a lot you can't see behind that image. But take a step back and you can see the bigger, stranger picture. And who created this strange country? You did. <laughs>